Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Kodi on a Walmart on Google TV box. Now these devices have become extremely popular and there are two ways to install Kodi on a Walmart on Google TV box. And I'm going to show you both methods in this video. Now the first method is pretty simple. All you need to do is hover over apps, scroll down, and click the search box here, and then simply type in Kodi, as Kodi is available inside the Google Play Store for free installation. So I'm gonna click Kodi, click the search icon here, and then give it a few seconds and Kodi should populate under apps. Go ahead and click Kodi and then give it a few seconds as it will redirect you to the Google Play Store. And because Kodi is available inside the Google Play Store, we can be 100% sure that this application is legal and verified to install on our Walmart on Google TV box. So go ahead and click install once you're on this screen. And this will start the installation for Kodi. Now you're gonna have to give it a few seconds while the Kodi app is installing in the background. So I'm gonna fast forward after this has complete. All right, after the Kodi application has installed on your Walmart on Google TV box, I'm gonna hit the home button on my remote and this will take me back to the home screen. So if I hover over top here and hover over for you, I am back on the home screen. So if you wanna move Kodi towards the front of your apps list, I'm going to scroll over and you'll see it right here. So now I'm going to hold down the okay button on my remote click move, and I'm gonna move this towards the front of my apps list, as you'll see I'm doing that right here. And then I'm gonna click OK to drop it, and here is the Kodi application. So I'm gonna click the back button, go back to my home screen, click the Kodi app to launch it for the first time, click continue, and then click OK while using app, click allow, and then you're gonna give it a few seconds here to boot up for the first time on your device. All right, so you'll see I'm on the main screen of Kodi here, and that's it for the first method of installing Kodi on a Walmart on Google TV box is simply installing it from the Google Play Store. So now I'm going to hit the home button on my remote and I'm going to uninstall Kodi and show you the second method for installing this application. All right, so I've uninstalled Kodi from my device and now I'm going to show you the second method here. So to install Kodi on our Walmart on Google TV box, what we need to do in this method is install an application called Downloader. So I'm going to hover over apps on top here, scroll down and click search for apps and games. And then I need to type in Downloader. Now, if for whatever reason, Kodi is not available inside Google Play, this is the method that you will need to use to install Kodi. So I'm gonna type in Downloader, click the search icon here, and you should see Downloader appear under Apps, the orange icon here by AFTV News. So go ahead and click that, and this will direct you to the installation page on the Google Play Store. Now I'm going to click Install. And you're gonna to have to wait a few seconds while the Downloader app is installing on your Walmart on Google TV box. All right, and after Downloader has been installed, there are a few settings that we need to change in our device settings before we start using Downloader. So I'm gonna click the home button on my remote and it's important that you follow these steps very closely. So on the top, I'm going to hover over the settings icon, then I'm going to click the settings icon. And once I do that, I'm going to scroll down and I'm gonna click system. And then I'm gonna scroll down and click about. And then once you do that, you want to scroll down and find the option here that says Android TV OS build. And I'm going to click that about seven times until you see the following message. You are now a developer. Once you see that message, click the back button on your remote and then what you wanna do is scroll down and you'll now see that developer options has been enabled. So that is a very important step that you cannot miss. So now I'm going to hit the home button on my remote, scroll down under my apps, and you should see the downloader app right here. Now I'm going to click downloader to launch the application for the first time. All right, and then once the quick start guide comes, click OK, and here is the downloader application. So right away on the home screen, I'm going to click the search box here and enter the following code, 298344, double check that for accuracy, and then click go. 
and this will redirect you to the IPTV Wire Quick Links page. You're gonna have to be patient here for just a few seconds while you're being redirected to our Quick Links page. And here is IPTV Wire Quick Links. Now, right away, you might notice some annoying messages here. I always like to X out of this stuff. It just makes it a lot easier to navigate. Uh, so X out of these messages here. And then here is what it will look like on top. And if you scroll down, what you should see is Cody Media Center. And right below that is Cody 20.5, which is the most stable release as of this video. And you would simply click this here to start the installation. And then give it a few seconds while the Cody application is downloading on your Walmart on Google TV box. All right, now from here, you will likely see this message that pops up about downloader and the security. But what you need to do here is click settings and then scroll down and click allow. So now we have allowed downloader to install third party applications. And then once this Cody message appears, do you want to install this app? Click install. And this will start the installation for Cody. So give it a few seconds here while the Cody application is installing. All right, well, now that the Cody app has installed, I'm going to click done. And just like the first method, I'm gonna hit the home button on my remote and I'm gonna move Cody towards the front of my apps list. So once you see Cody here, hover over it, hold down the okay button, click move, and I'm going to move Cody towards the front of my apps list. I'm gonna drop it right here, click okay. And here is Cody. So I'm gonna click Cody again to start the to start the application, excuse me. And once this message appears, click continue, click while using app, click allow, and Cody will need a few seconds to boot up again for the first time. So that's it guys, that is the second method for installing Kodi on any Walmart on Google TV box. Now, I won't go through any more details here as I have several other videos on my channel and guides on my website that will explain Kodi in greater detail. Now, the last thing I wanna mention is that I would highly suggest connecting to a reputable VPN like Surfshark if you decide to use Kodi. Surfshark is my number one recommended VPN at IPTV wire guys i do have a special discount link that you can find below this video that will not only get you the best discount but that also does help support myself and this channel is getting it through surfshark vpn so that's it guys again this is bodie with iptv wire appreciate you all watching this video for installing cody on a walmart on google tv box be sure to like this video leave me a comment below i always like seeing your thoughts and replying to you guys in the comments be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope you all have a great day